Hi, I'm winemaker Brian Maloney and I'm here with our wine grower Eric Pooler. Hello. And we're going to talk a little bit about the 2010 OFS Pinot Noir. Eric, you want to talk a little bit about the vintage? 2010 was an interesting vintage. Uh, sort of continued cool weather all the way through spring. We had a, a, uh, a bit of uh, moisture during the sort of bloom window, um, April, May. And then, uh, and then consistent cool weather through August when it got hot and, uh, and really pushed sugars in some vineyards. There was some uh, resolution that occurred after that, and, and it was really a winemaker's vintage. Well, that, it, was a, it was an interesting year, as Eric was saying. It started out um, being quite cold and then got really warm. In fact, in Chardonnay, this was the year where we saw a lot of sunburn and a lot of selection having to happen um, with you know pulling off those raisined um, sunburn berries. But with Pinot Noir, what we found is uh, we went from very high acid, big tannins to still high acid, but really high sugars at the same time. Um, and so that was a challenge in terms of making these wines and aging these wines. We really were uncertain uh, what we were gonna see until after we had brought them in and after a few months of aging, we really saw that this was framing out to be a, a, just a fantastic ripe style Pinot Noir. Um, with this OFS Pinot Noir, what we found in our vineyards was that the best locations were the the sites that had a little bit slightly lighter uh, later ripening things like the uh, the Boleto vineyard uh, down off of Burnside Road the Mabaroshi vineyard the Starkey vineyards all were able to get through that initial heat wave and while they did suffer a bit um, they ended up just having some really bright fruit characteristics and some kind of bigger blockier tannins that have made these very age worthy wines um, along with that higher acidity that you get when you have that those heat spike events happen. Um, we made this in our, our typical style, you know, hand punched downs, de-stemmed fruit, open top fermentations, uh, nothing too fancy there. Uh, married it with uh, about a third new French wood and made a wine that even today, now almost five years after vintage, is uh, still singing along quite well. In fact, uh, I think it's just starting to come into its own. What do you think, Eric? Absolutely, a beautiful one indeed. Uh, Brian mentioned the the use of vineyards that were able to kind of withstand that heat and a key to that uh, across those vineyards was canopy management. Um, in a year where it's cool through the spring months and, and into summer it's tempting as a grower to want to pull a lot of leaves to make sure that the, the fruit zone is open um, and you're not going to run into disease problems but the growers that we work with are knowledgeable and, and uh, experienced and, uh, and many of them were capable of, of recognizing the fact that we could have a heat spike at some point and chose to be uh, a little bit more liberal with how many leaves they left, which provided a barrier against the sun and really helped us push that fruit. Yeah. So fantastic vintage, OFS Pinot Noir 2010. Cheers. Cheers.